All right, shalom, shalom, Akim. You know, first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory unto the Heavenly Father, His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Kakadash. Double honors to my apostles and others, a great millstone who rule well and taught me this truth. And shalom to all the brothers out there that the folk on the earth pushing this word in our richness and sincerity. Shalom. Bella Kazapa from James Riley in North Carolina. Come back with another quick lesson. Do the spirit prayer, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. And um, this is going to be another. Uh, you know, GMS newspaper, you know, going to what? The famine of the word, man. Okay, the famine of the word. All right. And it was because uh YouTube earlier uh today, I believe it was around like eight o'clock, it was not working. Okay. As you see, you know, if you type in um on Google, uh, you know, YouTube down today, so many different articles and stories, you know, you know, YouTube was experiencing widespread technical Problems playing videos, you know, it's worldwide, man. Okay, and um, as uh, what people don't realize, people make their whole living off of uh, YouTube, man. All right, YouTube sends out checks to people, you know, um, pretty much like monthly, you know, for um, you know, your view count, you get paid for that. You have a lot of YouTubers who uh, you know, get paid just for doing YouTube videos, man. Okay. You know, the, you know, the YouTube videos are monetized and all that. So, you know, all this stuff, yeah, if YouTube shuts down, <laughs> a lot of people are out of a job. But mainly, you know, right now what we're talking about is what? Because of the words going out on YouTube. Okay. The words of Yahweh, Baha Shim, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh being the true name of the Heavenly Father in the Hebrew. And Yahweh Shai being the true name of the world and he calls Jesus Christ, his name in the Hebrew, Yahweh Shai. All right. And, um, you know. Hey, it shows you that any moment that Yahweh Bashim Shai can take away this word, which will be the famine of the word prophesied in the scriptures, because it's going to be a time and period that what? You won't be able to uh, get this word as freely as you can right now, man. Okay? And we're going to get that. This is a book of um, book Amos. Let's get that. All right. Let's see, book Amos. Chapter 8, verse 11. And it reads, it says, Behold, it's like, yeah. it says, Behold, the days come, save the Lord power, Yahweh Bashimah Shai, that I will send a famine in the land. Now, a famine is a, a lack of resource of something, okay? Whether it be bread or water or, you know, stuff, which those things are going to happen in this land. All right, but the Lord is basically telling you there's going to be a lack of resource of something, okay, in, in this land of America, all right? And, you know, really throughout the four corners of the earth, it says that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor thirst for water, which these things will be happening, but the scripture is not talking about that, okay? It says, but of hearing the words of Yahweh, okay? Now, how what is the resource of hearing the words of Yahweh by Shimon Al Shai? All right, his men, the prophets, okay, the men of the Lord, you know, that's the resource of hearing this word, man. All right, and then you know, the helping tool of, of course, to push this word is YouTube, man, okay, with the videos, man. My brother's pushing out videos daily, you know, some brothers, you know, one to two videos, some brothers, three videos a day, you know, depending on you know the measure of his spirit. You know, the men of the Lord are pushing out videos and they're free, free on YouTube. OK, you know. So, you know, it's here. This is but of hearing the words of of Yahweh by Shimei al Shai. All right. So a famine is a lack of resource of something. All right. Doesn't mean it's completely gone, but it means that what? It's a very, very shortage of it. High shortage, man. It's scarce. All right. And that's going to be when Yahweh Hashem Shai closes uh, the mouth of the prophets from, you know, shutting down his YouTube and taking the men off the streets, too. All right. Because if this YouTube thing shuts down, you know, um, and, you know, martial law really hasn't kicked in, you might you might still, you know, most likely you're going to still see brothers out there in the corners, you know, um, preaching the word locally. OK. All right. But when everything shuts down and, you know, there's martial law, the YouTube gets shut down. You know, the men of the Lord is still going to be, you know, around. But guess what? They're not going to be out, you know, available for the masses, man. You know? All right. 
You know, that's what a shortage means. A famine means there's food, but a very, very, very scarce amount of food, man. Okay. And the Lord's bringing that. He could bring it to, uh, as we wake up tomorrow. You know, it's at any second the Lord could do it. And the Lord showed that today. Okay. You know, it says verse 12. And they shall wander from sea to sea. All right. From sea to starting to sea, man. All over the earth, but mainly here in America, what? They're going to be wandering, you know, to find what? The men of the Lord. Just keep reading. It says, and from the north, even to the east, they shall run to and fro to seek the word of Yahweh, Bashim Shai, and shall not find it. You know why? Because what? Those those same men are going to be put up, man. That time of preaching is going to be is going to be done. Okay. I mean, what? The elect of the nation of Israel is being sealed, man. Now, what? Definite instructions ready to reign on the earth, man. Okay? You know, because the time that we're coming in, Yahweh Bashim is going to, you know, stop the men of the Lord from talking. You know? Because the talking is going on right now, but then after the talking, then comes the action. And we're telling you that um, Yahweh Bashim is going to destroy America, man. That all those that put their trust in America, talk to you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the Israelites, you want to put your trust in America, man. You're going to die here with it, man. Let's get some of this. Uh, let's see. Oh, down. It's like here. Yep, there it is. This is Isaiah uh, 31 and 1. All right, it says, woe to them, which woe means death and destruction, okay? So, death and destruction or woe to them that go down to Egypt for help. Now, America is spiritually Egypt, man, because in Egypt, what? The Israelites were in slavery, all right? It's the same thing that happened to us here, man. We were in slavery, captivity, all right? So, this is spiritually Egypt, America, all right? So, it says, woe to them that go down to Egypt for help. Going down to this American system for help. We just had the elections. Our people pinned and trust in Joe Biden and stuff. You know, and, and, and you know, just in Kamala Harris, man. Okay? Relying on this society. Woe unto you, man. All right? It says, and stay on horses and trust in chariots. Trust in the military of America. Because they are many. And in horsemen, because they are very strong. But they look not upon the Holy One of Israel, neither seek Yahweh. But remember in that day, we were just ready, that what? In that day, they're going to be going running to and fro to seek the word of Yahweh by Shemuel and Shai, and shall be not be able to? Why? You know? Because the Lord is going to uh, uh, hide his prophets, man. Okay? That talking period is going to be done, that grace period, of, which is a period of mercy to get right with the Lord, is going to be done away with, man. And it's going to be nothing but death and destruction reigning out here, man. Now, I'm going to get this other scripture real fast, because this is what the Lord is going to do um, to the men of the Lord preaching the word. Let's see. So I can let me type this in. There we go. This is Ezekiel three and twenty six. And I will make thy tongue to cleave to the roof of thy mouth. This talk about the prophets, man. Okay. And when you cleave your, when you put your tongue to the top of your mouth, okay, and leave it there and try to speak, you know, nothing will utter no utterance will come out. So the Lord's going to stop his men from teaching on the highways and byways, man. Okay? Teaching through the YouTube, all that, man. The Lord's going to stop the mouth, stop talking and then perform action. It says that thou shalt be dumb, all right, not be able to speak, and thou shalt not be a, re be, so like it, and, and shall not be to them a reprover. Because right now what we're reproving our people, correcting them, Giving them correction on how to live according to the Bible, how to please Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know, who the Lord calls God in Jesus Christ, you know, doing everything that's pleasing to the Lord so they can be, um, so mercy could be placed upon them, okay? 
And if we know only the elect will take heed to that, but what? The Lord's not going to make us a reprover anymore. So we're going to stop correcting our people, man. Okay? It says, for they are a rebellious house. You know, just so because of the rebellion, the Lord's going to stop, you know, talking. And what? Perform action, man. Okay? And that's the time that we're coming into, man. The Lord, you know, we're in the upcoming days where the Lord is going to be uh, judging our people, man. Okay? The Lord's done talking, man. Okay? You know, he's going to start judging our people at a rapid rate. And it's about to be a very cruel and bloody time out here in these streets, man. You know, when the Lord does so. Okay. You know, let's, uh, let's see. Let's get it. Let's, let's quickly bring this out. And we're going to bring, I'm going to, when I bring this out, show you what the Lord is going to bring to those that don't want to get right with him. Okay. Um, this is Sirach 40 and 9. All right. I'm going to end it off on this because this is what's going to happen unto those that don't hearken unto the Lord. Okay. This is Psalms 40 and 9. And it reads, Death. Okay. And bloodshed. So death, bloodshed, which, you know, is caused by what? Two or more people fighting and then, you know, to the death, basically. It says strife, which means fightings. And sword, which a sword is any killing instrument or instrument of death. Okay. It says calamities, which means bad times. Famine, so actual famine, what a lack of resource of bread and water. So starvation is going to happen. Tribulation, which means more troubling times. Okay. And the scorch. These things are created for the wicked. What? The wicked of our people. Two thirds of the nation of Israel. Two thirds of so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans here in America, man. All right, these things are what created for you because you don't want to get right with the God of the Bible. It says, and for their for their sake came the flood because you're the same spirits that are coming back. Back when Noah was prophesying, you didn't want to get right with the God of the Bible back then. And same thing now, man. You didn't want to get right with the God of the Bible. Yahweh Bashim Yahshai now. Okay, so guess what? The new uh uh uh, uh flood is gonna be what you know. The death and destruction, ultimately, them ice speed thermal nuclear missiles, that's the icing on the cake, man, is going to flood this place with fire, okay? But that's coming, that's only created for the wicked, all right? But the elect of the nation of Israel, those that are getting right with Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, you know, uh, mercy is going to uh, compass them, okay? The scriptures say that what, you know, the, um, the angels of Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, and camp around them that fear him, I'll get that scripture and we'll end it off on that one, to the spirit of the Lord as well. You know, because what the elect of the nation of Israel, when all these things happen, you know, uh, they're going to be protected. OK, you know, un unlike the two thirds of the nation of Israel, who well, all those things are created for. All right. This is uh, Psalms 34 and seven. It says the angel of Yahweh by Shemal Shai and, and campeth round about them that fear him. All right. The word in campeth basically means to surround. You know, and protect, basically, surround. And camp around them that fear him, that fear him, that do his will, man. Okay? You know, that, you know, and those ones that fear him are highly blessed. All right? You know, highly favored in the eyes of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay? You know? It says, and deliver them. Meaning what? They protect them and deliver them from the death and destruction to come. All right? But remember, two-thirds, they, they're not going to get so, th so uh, such protection. All right? They're going to suffer. The death, the bloodshed, the strife, the tribulation, the anguish, you know, the calamities, man. They're going to have to face all these things when the when the, well, the word is being, um, you know, as the family of the word pops off, man. And, you know, and death and destruction reigns on this earth, man. So hopefully Lord's will, you know, you know, you edify, you know, the brothers and sisters and stuff. Hey, man, we're almost in that time. And Lord's will that we be a part of the elect, that the Lord protect us. And in the times, we didn't have the angels encamped around us, man. So with that, you know, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim of Karkadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well and taught me this truth. And shalom to all the brothers out there, that the four corners of the earth pushing this word and unrighteousness and sincerity. Until next time, to the elect, we say shalom.